So we're continuing our walk along the loop of the park. I started from my RV, went in a big circle and shown you about everything. I think there's just a few more things just up the road for you to see. Right here in the center of the park is a big lake. Before we take this tour, I want to note that this park is in a circular um, type of dimension and that um, a little bit unique. It's bucked up to I-75, so if you don't like a lot of um, interstate noise, you might want to be thinking about that. If you don't mind, then this is a fantastic little park. If you are an avid walker and enjoy walking around and keeping easy track of your steps, the loop is about a mile around. How many times do you want to go around? As you go around the loop, you'll see places to veer off to your right or to your left, but don't worry if you follow those, they will lead you right back into the main loop. As you walk around the loop, you cannot miss the clubhouse. Uh, the clubhouse is one of my favorite places because everything's located right about here. Besides car parking, you have a rack for bicycles as well as a little area for golf cart parking. And at this clubhouse, there is a bigger swimming pool. The pool here at the big clubhouse overlooks the lake. There's also a hot tub as well as plenty of chairs and tables here, high tops and low tops. Really nice pool, getting ready to go check it out. Check out this view. You can turn the lounging chair around and just re relax and just glance at the mm -hmm. lake. There's also a nice gazebo out here if you want to come and bring your lunch or dinner. By the gazebo, they have a grill, so you can even grill out if you don't want to bring your picnic here. And yes, we're in Florida, so as always, watch out for those gators, snakes, and other wildlife in the area. They have a very nice exercise room, uh, complete with several different um, types of equipment. They have a nice shuffleboard area, and you can get your equipment right underneath the restroom sign. They have it nicely displayed, easy to access, and wet wipes to wipe them down before and after you take them. There are plenty of benches at the shuffleboard court to take a rest while you're waiting your turn. There are a nice set of horseshoes here, and the horseshoes are kept at the horseshoe area. The backboards are nice, and they do have scoreboards here as well. So outside by the pool, underneath the clubhouse is your ping pong area. And I just love how every area has their equipment right here for you to be able to access without having to go to the game room or club room or some room to find your equipment. If you want to play cornhole, it's right here in the pool area. The bags are here. Everything you need is here. You just need to pull it out, separate it, and start the game. The billiards room is nicely kept. The table's covered. Everything again, right here in the area. Your balls and the table, your cue sticks. Nicely organized. There's scoreboards, high top tables, and stools. This is kind of cute. They have the rules laminated onto this table. Let's move this a little bit. It's time to climb those stairs and find out what is at the top of this clubhouse. Check out this view. The pool from the top of the clubhouse. If you like being outside and cannot take the bugs, mosquitoes, or just handle being in the sun, there's a nice shaded screened in veranda at the top of the clubhouse so that you can see the pool and the lake from here. A view is a shuffleboard court and the horseshoe pits from the top of the clubhouse. Looks like they're doing something here. It looks like they're having a dance class. So we're just gonna sneak in here for a minute. They host a lot of activities inside the clubhouse along with a happy hour and other events. So we'll just go in, get a few seconds and be on our way. We're gonna check out the media room where you can access Wi-Fi, and hopefully when we open those doors, there will be a library. I absolutely love when they have these huge libraries or media rooms so you can come in here and sit at the table, read, do homework, maybe do some Wi-Fi um, computer work in here, and a wide selection of books to choose from. In here they also have a DVD and TV, 
and I can't believe you couldn't find something to read in here. So they even have a nice selection of magazines in here and a basket for you to return your books when you're finished. This is a pretty impressive clubhouse. There is something for everyone here. Not far from the clubhouse, there's a little boat launch where you can take your kayaks, paddle boards, canoes, and uh, go into the water. But remember, there are gators around this area. Um, so I don't know if I take my paddle board out. Definitely wouldn't uh, mind taking my kayak out. There are several dog stations here. There's no reason at all not to pick up your dog's poop, bag it, and put it in a trash can. The fountain's pretty centrally located in the middle of the lake. Hey, it's Fling and Fred. It should be Fred and Fling, but anyway. So, guess what? We're in a hot tub. That's right, yeah. And there's not a lot of bubbles in here. That's all right, there's not a lot of warmth here, but Fling's going to give us the real picture. Come on, Fling buddy. Let's see what we got. I don't think we crack 100. What do you think? Oh. Not good, bath water, 98 degrees. Come on, Fling, make it warm. Mary is actually gonna bring us a live broadcast from the pool area. Mary, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, so do you, do you have a fling temperature for us? I have a fling temperature. What is it? I hate to report, it is 96. 96, so the pool is almost a temperature of the hot tub. Once you turn into the park, it's not very far until you'll see the staging area where you will park your RV and toad or truck and trailer and get out and go to the office. As you pull into the staging area, you'll see the sign that shows you the office to your left, registration to your left, as well as the clubhouse to your right. I love the cool totem poles and the neat carvings. This one is made out of an old cut down tree trunk. Here's an example of somebody pulled into the staging area. Every park is different. Here they call it the registration parking. This is your office straight ahead of the registration parking. As you can see, the gentleman went in and got his packet, came back into his truck and is going on his way. Sites are assigned at this park. So we're going to take a quick look at the office and I'll pick up a schedule for um, the activities that are here. So if you do happen to come in and it is after hours, right beside the registration office door is a place where you can pick up your packets. If you are receiving a package in your transient from Amazon, FedEx, UPS, or even the United States Postal Service, you can put the number of your site on there and they will deliver it directly to your site. Full-time residents can um, get a box here. This is a circular park not really hard to um, find things here. In the same building as the office, in the front of the park, you'll find one of the laundry rooms. They have several washers and dryers here in the laundry room. Also a folding table, as well as baskets to put your clothes in to transfer from the washing machine to the dryer. They have a vending machine inside the laundry mat here that has snacks and drinks. Your small dryers are $1.50. Your larger dryers are $1.75. Your washing machines are $1.75. They do not take coins here. You will need to download mycscgo.com and put money on your, your smartphone to operate these machines. Well, it's definitely nice and warm. Not too warm, not too cold. I'm ready to dive in. Up here by the laundromat, office, and small pool, you also have a bike rack. Beside the pool area, there are some bathrooms, men and women, and showers as well. There are three toilets, three showers, and each one has a stool and a sink and a closing door as well, and a place to hang your own bag or close your towels. And they have two sinks as well. If you need to dump, there's an RV dump station here. This is really good if you're just passing through to know some of the places that you can stop and dump your tanks. Your trash compactor is located behind this nice white fence across from the pool. You walk through the doors, around the little maze, and here it is. Nicely um, contained with a pretty wall. Now this is a service I haven't seen before. and They have a 
hand sanitizer right here in the trash. Beside the trash can, there's an air station where you can come and air up your um, RV or anything else. Across from the trash compactor, they have a propane tank. Check with your office for the prices and times of service. Looks like they even fill small bottles and weigh them so that you can get your little tanks filled here as well. If you follow the road past the propane tank, there's a storage area. However, the place does have a CCTV surveillance 24 hours, so I feel pretty safe. This is a nice statue in front of the dog park, Do Nothing Club Dog Park, in memory of Terry Appleby. It is what it is. The dog park is large. It's got plenty of shade. There are a couple of picnic tables here for you um, to be able to sit and watch your dogs play. Isn't that a beautiful picture? There's an exit on the other side of the office that I would be careful of taking because there's quite a big dip. I'm not sure if you can see that drop off, but that's dips. All right. It's time for the Winter Quarters Manatee Cellular Service Report. Well, we have Verizon at the top at 27.2 down and 10.3 up. Welcome back. And second place is T-Mobile at 14.5 at 6.93 down. Now we got AT&T running in last. It's 13.4 and obviously it's being managed as the upload speed is 20.5 so we got a little throttling going on there well they're all pretty decent speeds so i don't think you could go wrong with any of them and we'll talk to you next time